Dozens of players were waved as the new Messi, and Kubo was one of them. From an early age, he was said to be the new coming of Messi in his home country of Japan. However, unlike most of these so-called new Messis, that for the most part failed to deliver on the pitch, this is not the story of a wasted talent. Instead, Kubo is actually living up to his potential and seems to be on track to fulfill the immense potential that was seen in him from an early age. Born on the 4th of June 2001, Takefusa Kubo arrived in Spain at the age of only 10, joining the legendary La Masia Academy, just like a young Lionel Messi arriving from overseas. However, unlike Messi, Kubo actually left La Masia only four years later after his arrival. This was because Barcelona had violated a number of FIFA regulations regarding transfers of young players. As a result, Barcelona were banned from transferring youth players and all the players that had been signed through this regulation breach had to return to their original club. Amongst these players were the likes of Andre Onana, Lee Song Wu, the Korean Messi, and, well, Takefusa Kubo, the so-called Japanese Messi. Despite this major setback early in his career, Kubo stayed determined to succeed in professional football and joined FC Tokyo when he came back to Japan, now aged 14. At FC Tokyo, Kubo continued to develop and soon made his professional debut with Tokyo's B team and then the A team in 2016 at the age of only 15. He became and still remains the youngest player to start and score in a J-League game, Japan's first division. All this time, European clubs had not forgotten about Kubo and had kept an eye on his development. Following his 18th birthday, Kubo would now be available for a comeback in Europe. Barcelona were therefore very keen to bring him back to Camp Nou following his unexpected departure due to FIFA youth player regulations. However, other clubs were very much following Kubo's case as well, and competition to sign the Japanese Messi would be fierce. So fierce in fact, that clubs attempting to sign him resorted to questionable tactics. Real Madrid sneakily informed themselves directly to FC Tokyo about the end date of Kubo's contract. Real Madrid understood that Kubo only had 6 months of contract left from the 1st of January 2019. Meaning that from this point onwards, Kubo was legally allowed to negotiate with other clubs. On the other hand, all other clubs interested in signing him, including Barcelona, believed that Kubo still had one full year of contract starting from the 1st of January 2019 and thereby could not start negotiating with them until June 2019. Ultimately, this misunderstanding around Kubo's contracts is what gave Real Madrid the edge to sign him. Weeks before other clubs would even have started negotiating with Kubo, he had already agreed to a 1 million per year deal with Real Madrid. Following this transfer, the plan was for Kubo to play his first season mainly with Madrid's B team and then be integrated into the first team the following season. However, this is not what happened, as after his first month with Real Madrid, where he participated in their preseason tour in the US, he was sent on loan to La Liga team Mallorca. This season loan allowed for Kubo to directly be exposed to first division level of playing, as opposed to playing lower level football with Madrid's B team. It was a rather successful first professional season in Europe, as Kubo played a total of 2,400 minutes in 35 games, scoring 4 goals and assisting 5 times. Following this spell at Mallorca, he was called back to Madrid in the summer and was immediately sent on loan again to Villarreal, another La Liga team. Evidently, Real's plans to integrate him to the first team had changed. In the summer of 2021, Kubo proudly represented his country at the Olympics in Tokyo. Japan did well on home soil, finishing top of their group, but unfortunately, they were eliminated in the quarter-final against the worn-out Pedri Spain. Coming back to club football, his situation was still difficult and unclear. This cycle of loans at different La Liga teams continued for Kubo until the summer of 2022, as Real Madrid finally decided to sell him for 6.5 million euros to La Liga side Real Sociedad. Now 21, Kubo desperately needed stability in order to develop and truly fulfill his potential. Kubo started his career at Real Sociedad incredibly well, as he scored on his debut in the first game of the La Liga season to allow for a 1-0 win against Cadiz CF. His first season with Real Sociedad was just what everyone expected for. He'd finally found his place in a coherent and well-organized team and showed why he'd always, since an early age, been compared to Messi. Kubo shares many characteristics with the Argentinian. He is of relatively small stature, standing at 1.73 meters tall. 
he is left-footed and has a clear affinity for dribbling. Position-wise, Kubo is also very similar to Messi. He has, for most of his footballing career, played as a right winger, being able to cut inside with his left foot. But he also, just like Messi, possesses all the qualities necessary to effectively play as a number 10. Many football fans have complained that number 10s are a dying breed in today's football. These fans remember the likes of Reykjelme or Ozil and complain that such players are a rarity nowadays. But Kubo is a classic example that number 10s still very much do exist and their magic still infuses in the world of football. His ability to open up the play with impeccable passing and clear vision, along with a fine technical touch, has made him, just like Messi for Barcelona, a crucial player to his team. This switch from a pure winger to a more central position in the number 10 role clearly benefited Kubo and we also see that greatly. The value of this change is more evident than ever in this current season as Kubo is already on 6 goals and 3 assists and Real Sociedad currently stands 6th in La Liga and have also qualified to the knockout stages of the Champions League, finishing top of a difficult group including Inter, Salzburg and Benfica. Real Sociedad is now facing PSG in the round of 16 of the Champions League on February the 14th. This could be a massive opportunity for Kubo to show the world his talent. Never before has he played on such a big stage and a remarkable performance against PSG could be all it takes for his hype as a young prospect to skyrocket. Furthermore, Kubo's transfer to Real Sociedad did not include a buyback clause for Real Madrid, a decision they visibly regret as rumors early this season stated that Real Madrid were considering buying back Kubo after seeing his great performances in La Liga this season. Kubo performing decently well against PSG could very much start a bidding war for the young Japanese phenom. Will Kubo have the same trajectory out of Real Sociedad as their previous number 10, Antoine Griezmann? Only time will tell, but this 2024 season will likely prove to be of paramount importance for his development.